brutal here. White CS for Richmond with whoa, first place winner, the champion himself. Please introduce yourself to the world, man. Uh, hey, my name is Joey. Uh, it's my first win and first top, so it's kind of insane. Wait, no, wait, you're serious? Yeah, it's my first ever uh, topping event. My second day, too, ever. I've been playing for a long time. That's why I teared up at the end, because I've been playing for so long. Well, oh, geez, man, you won the YCS. Yeah, it's crazy. Yo, what made you decide to play on chain for this event, though? Um, it's actually, like, one of the decks I had the most fun with in a long time. It has a lot of different options. The, the card art is sick. Like, the way the deck plays is cool. And I've been having, like, success more locally with it. So I wanted to bring it to the YCS, and it did well. So Okay, yeah, sweet. Be Before we jump into the deck profile, any shout-outs, man? Yeah, I got a shout-out. Uh, my boys are cheering for me all the time. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out Torment City Games and Frederick, Maryland, my local card shop. A bunch of uh, great guys. Uh, it's good players that go there too, so it's good testing as well. Sweet. Without further ado, please show us the first place champion goo. Sure. So, uh, start off, we got three Shavara, uh, three Aruha, uh, three Torgod with the Rhino Warrior, and then uh, one of Sarama, Shyama, Unchained Soul, Arkea and Vice King for the DD. That's all the uh, the non-hand trap uh, monsters in the deck. Uh, it's pretty standard, I would say, at this point. I don't think it is, it's really surprising. I'm not playing level eight dog, so I got tired of drawing him. And he's not my side deck either, because I don't want to draw on post side either. So that's it for the monster. Thoughts on Sangia? Uh, it was a cool idea. I just, I didn't have time like to try it out. And I didn't want to like grief my deck list by putting it in and it not working out for me. So I didn't really get, have enough time to mess with it. And then uh, I got uh, the one Wailing, the three Unchained Prison, or Abominable Prison, uh, and then three Escape, two Chamber for the uh, Unchained Spell Trap lineup. Um, I've been liking this ratio a lot. There's a lot of times that come up where you've already triggered both of these and you need to get to this. Or if you want to keep one of the traps set, then you can set this off Shavar or pop it and then keep the trap for the end board. Um, yeah, that's all the Unchained Spell Traps. And then, uh, Dark Contracts with the, uh, the Vice King, as you saw. Um, and then for the rest of the spell cards, three Prosperity, uh, one Thrust, and one Talent. Uh, yep. Uh, this is kind of weird, probably, to people, but um, I didn't like uh, multiple Thrusts and breaking on them. Even if you saw in the finals, I opened, I signed into second copy of Thrust and opened both of them. So, breaking on Thrust is real. And halftime, when the hand trap you and you thrust, all you can do is set a card and pass. It's not like you beat the hand trap, you know, so thrust wasn't too great. But this card is putting in all the work for me today. I almost wish I put a second copy in my deck somewhere, but, you know, one got me there, so I can't ask for too much. And then the rest are just the hand traps. So I have three Imper, uh, three Ash Blossom, three Nib, and two Effect Veiler. Uh, I had more thrusts, and I decided I wanted more hand traps instead, so I cut two of the thrusts out of the Veilers, and it worked out way better for me this tournament. Yeah, 43 cards. Respect, respect. Yeah, I'm an old head. I want to do 40, but I can't. Now this deck. And then go on to the uh, side deck. Are you going to do the extra? Sure, we'll do the extra. Right. Yeah. Um, got two Wave King Caesar for the XYZ, uh, one Deuce Machina X, uh, one Zeus, and one uh, Sky Crisis. Uh, this card, I was not too high on. I was kind of sleeping on it, but it won me a game, and it um, was always an option to have. And this deck has a good amount of like flex space. You got a few slots to work with, so I'm happy I included it in the, in the deck. Uh, Double Caesar. Um, this didn't really come up that a whole lot. I don't know. This can be something else probably, but that's it for the uh, XYZ. And then the Lynx, uh, to Yama. Hello, we need to let down the present here is not the play area. Uh, to Soul of Rage. Uh, one Soul of Anguish. One uh, Abomination. Uh, that's it for the Unchained Link Monsters. And then I've got uh, one Little Knight for the uh, Soul of Rage. One Unicorn. And then the last two slots are Muckraker and Dark. Uh, I did not summon this ever. I don't know. It was just there, I guess. Half time I wanted it, I realized I had no darks on my field. I had a fire and a water. I'm like, yeah, hey, this guy's not working out. But yeah, so that's the. Uh, what are your thoughts on Darius? On the what? Darius, the DD. Oh uh, yeah, I had him initially. A lot of the early lists were playing him, but um, I he hardly ever came out. But even like when you get shifted, like 
You can try to use it on a soul rage anyway, and so Darius doesn't really feel like that worth the slot. The Zeus line also is the argument, but that also hardly comes up. Like if you're going Tour Guide Summon, uh, if the best thing you're doing is Zeus, you're probably still not winning that game. Okay. Uh, and then for the side deck, uh, three Didi Crow, three Phantasma, three Drone Lockbird, uh, a second copy of Thrust, a Herald of the Abyss, and a Duster, and then the last three slots at three Mistaken Arrest. Uh, yeah, this card is like super underrated. I know that some people have already been playing in the top in lists, but I did not realize how good this card is going to be. I won multiple games just acting this in response to a prosperity or a sinful, uh, not sinful spoils, but yeah, some of those cards as well. Uh, even acting it, uh, and then your opponent cannot thrust unless they want to set the card, so it already makes thrust feel a lot worse than it, than it usually would be, especially when it's scary in this matchup because you get thrust into talents and then talents take Caesar, etc., etc. So yeah, that's the uh, sideboard. Okay, how did Phantasmi do for you though? Um, he was good. I only really saw him a few times. Um, it's funny, one of the times I saw him, I thought I was going to put in the work, and then my opponent just did not put a uh, Link Monster on the board, and he was playing Vanquish Soul. So he, he made Dwell there without making a rock. So yeah. Okay, sweet. Well, uh, hey man, congrats on getting on win the YCS. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dude, congrats. Thank you.